Mir Imal Khansi was born on 10 February 1964 or 1 January 1967 and died on 14 November 2002 was a Pakistani national who was convicted of the 1993 shootings at CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia. In the incident, Khansi killed two CIA employees and wounded another three. He soon fled to Kandahar, Afghanistan, which later became a Taliban stronghold, and went into hiding for four years. He was caught and arrested by the FBI with help from Pakistani police forces while in Pakistan. After being returned to the US, he was convicted, and sentenced to death. He was executed by lethal injection in 2002. He entered the United States in 1991 under the name Mir Imal Khansi and brought a substantial sum of cash he had inherited on the death of his father, in 1989. He traveled on forged papers that he had purchased in Karachi, Pakistan. He had altered his name to Khansi and later bought a fake U.S. green card in Miami, Florida. He stayed with a Kashmiri friend, Zaid Mir, in his Reston, Virginia apartment and he invested in a courier firm for which he also was a spy. That work would be decisive in his choice of target, I used to pass this area almost every day and knew these two left-turning lanes were mostly people who work for CIA. According to Consi, he first began to think of attacking CIA personnel after he bought a Chinese-made AK-47 from a Chantilly, Virginia gun store. The plan soon became more important than any other thing to him on 25 January 1993. Consi stopped a borrowed brown Datsun station wagon behind a number of vehicles waiting at a red traffic light on the eastbound side of Route 123, Fairfax County. The vehicles were waiting to make a left turn into the main entrance of CIA headquarters. Consi emerged from his vehicle with his semi-automatic Type 56 assault rifle and proceeded to move among the lines of vehicles, firing a total of 10 rounds into them, killing Lansing H. Bennett, 66, and Frank Darling, 28. Three others were left with gunshot wounds. Darling was shot first and later received additional gunshot wounds to the head after Consi shot the other victims. Consi returned to his vehicle and drove to a nearby park. After 90 minutes of waiting, he realized that he was not being actively sought and so he drove back to his Reston apartment. At the time reports said police were looking for a white male in his 20s and the shooting was not thought to be directly connected to the CIA. He hid the rifle in a green plastic bag under a sofa, went to a McDonald's to eat, and booked himself into a day's in for the night. The CNN news reports he watched made it clear that police had misidentified his vehicle and did not have his license plate number. The next morning, he took a flight to Quetta, Pakistan. According to Consi, he killed CIA employees because, I was real angry with the policy of the US government in the Middle East, particularly toward the Palestinian people. Consi said in a prison interview with CNN affiliate WTTG. On 16 of February 1993, Consi, then a fugitive, had been charged in absentia. The charges involved the capital murder of Darling, murder of Bennett, and three counts of malicious wounding for the other victims, along with related firearms charges. In May 1997, an informant walked into the U.S. consulate in Karachi and claimed he could help lead them to Consi. As proof, he showed a copy of a driver's license application made by Consi under a false name but bearing his photograph. Apparently, the people who had been sheltering Consi wanted the multi-million dollar reward offer for his capture. Consi stated, I want to make it clear that the people who tricked me were Pushtuns, they were owners of land in the Ligari and Kosa clan areas in Deragazi Khan, but I will never name them. As Consi was in the dangerous Durand Line border region, the informant was told to lure Consi into Pakistan, where he could be more easily apprehended. Consi was tempted with a lucrative business offer, smuggling Russian electronic goods into Pakistan, which brought him to Deragazi Khan, in the Punjab province of Pakistan, where he checked into a room at Shalimar Hotel. At 4 a.m. on 15 of June 1997, an armed team of FBI officers, working with the Pakistani Inter-Services Intelligence, raided Consi's hotel room. His fingerprints were taken on the scene, confirming his identity. Sources disagree as to where Consi was taken next. U.S. authorities claim it was a holding facility run by Pakistani authorities, but Pakistani sources claim it was the U.S. Embassy in Islamabad before he was flown to the U.S. on 17 June in AC-141 transport. During the flight, 
Conzi made a full oral and written confession to the FBI. During the trial, the defense introduced testimony from Dr. Richard Restock, a neurologist and neuropsychiatrist, that Conzi was missing tissue from his frontal lobes, a congenital defect that made it hard for him to judge the consequence of his actions. That testimony was reiterated by another psychiatrist for the defense, based upon independent examination. Conzi was tried at the Fairfax County Courthouse in Fairfax, Virginia, by a jury trial over a period of 10 days in November 1997, he had pleaded not guilty to all charges. The jury found him guilty and recommended the death penalty for the capital murder charge. On February 4, 1998, Conzi was sentenced to death for the capital murder of Darling, who was shot at the beginning of the attack and again after the other victims had been shot. His other sentences of life imprisonment for the first-degree murder of Bennett, a 60-year sentence for the three malicious woundings, and fines totaling $600,000 were rendered moot by his execution. Conzi was executed by lethal injection on 14 November 2002, at Greensville Correctional Center, in Jarrett, Virginia. Conzi's body was repatriated to Pakistan, his funeral was attended by the entire civil hierarchy of Balochistan the local Pakistan Army Corps commander and the Pakistani ambassador to the United States, Ashraf Jahangir Kazi. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you get notifications anytime we post new videos. Also remember to like, share and leave a comment on this issue. Thank you.